So I had to take the valence down right here for the support for the mini split to fit. Didn't have much of a choice. Uh, I guess I'll either tint this window or black it out entirely or figure out a way to maybe put the valence lower. I'm thinking you might not even know the difference if the valence is on there lower. Um, we'll see. All these things will get figured out. Man, you, we just got this house and you're tearing it apart. It'll be all right, Tucker. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Yeah, I got you. Yep, just finishing up my lunch. Well, you know what? Heating and air guy got here like five hours early. I wasn't ready. Um, really nice guy, discharging me labor for the work. Uh, putting a little faith and trust in him. I said, please don't rip me off. I don't mind, I don't mind paying a, a, a fair price. I understand you guys gotta make money, just don't rip me off. He says, I got it. Uh, I showed him. The way I had the, the mini split sitting in there, he said, that won't work. You're blowing the hot air in. You want to blow the hot air out. So I had to unbolt everything, turn the mini split around. So I had one bolt too long. That one's about right. Got the other two. He's already got the head out. Drilled a head for the, drilled a hole for the line set to get out. I believe I'm not going to have any trouble with the, uh, getting the tire and so forth out right here but uh anyway this is firmly mounted now if you watch my last video you'll remember that uh i was trying to figure out something to use on these rubber feet for rubber feet put under here so the vibration will be less it turns out that uh, pioneer sent some of these but it was with a head unit it wasn't with a bottom box with this unit like i expected so dealing with a real nice guy and we're making headway i called several companies my, my my flags not straight is it let me see here hold on now we're back i called a bunch of companies and uh they were all interested till i mentioned it was inside an rv nobody Nobody touch it. And uh, had some uh, friends stop by, visit us, uh, Felix, Frank, Tammy, all my friend, my friends that are camping with me here. Uh, two other people showed up, told them about my situation. So well, I got a great friend that owns a heating and air business right down the road, 10 minutes from here. <laughs> That's how things work, gotta be patient. I bet I call 40 different, That's not true. I bet I called 15 to 20 different heating and air places and nobody, not even remotely interested. But I got the right guy on the job now. Going through here kind of tidying up a little bit. Um, I found the remote for it. And if I've got a complaint about this uh, Pioneer Mini Split, it's the remote. Couldn't read it. Hold on. The one that Felix has. I never could read the remote. I even had a magnifying glass I'd get out in the flashlight so I could read it. This is a different style. Hopefully, 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 it'll be easier to read because of a nice little mountain bracket. Yeah, buddy. It's turned around. I kind of wish I'd have got it closer to this wall over here. But the holes are already drilled. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. Um, the uh, if I did, then these line sets most likely would have been too short. So maybe it's possible. See that eyelet right there? Maybe I can still use that somehow for loads and whatnot. I'm unsure. My next door neighbor here 
big old 40 foot class A. He's warming up his engine. He hadn't cranked it in a few weeks. It's a beauty. Yep. Just put different, just put batteries in it and uh, lit up nice and bright. I can read that for sure. So there's the head unit. Like I may or may not be able to put that valence back on. The, the copper lines were actually meant to be attached that way. He carefully, easily, gingerly bent them to go this way so we'd have a whole lot less, uh, what do we say, exposed, exposed uh, refrigerant lines. And uh, he's going to try to make it pretty. It's coming together. Okay, we're trying to see if we can get the old valence to fit under it. Maybe nobody will know but us. It'll be our secret. We won't tell nobody. It looks better than just an open window. I think it'll be all right. I agree. Here we go. The valence is back on. We'll just see one little screw here. We had to put the brackets on the outside. And the screw on this little bracket will be covered by the line set. So now that the window valence is back up, he can uh, use it as a guide to run the line sets. We're going to just make it as pretty as we can. It's funny, the older I get, the more I care about function over, over beauty, but I still want things to look nice. I'm just hoping, I'm wondering how far that air will blow this way. In Felix's RV, it covers half the RV very well. Yep. Turns out this company here, they also service RV air conditioners. So we can get done with this and may visit the idea. The AC in here, I gotta take my hat off. The AC in here, it does fine, but if I go much below 72 degrees, it freezes up and the air quits blowing out of the vents. So either I'm low on Freon or my freeze switch fell out or my fins are dirty. I don't know. But it'd be useful to have them both going. If I gotta, if I gotta go back to Phoenix to the doctor in the middle of the summer, it's 120 degrees. It's gonna take both these air conditioners to stay cool. Okay, all the line sets are run on the inside. We didn't think we were gonna have enough line set. Now we got way too much. So he's got his little copper cutter there going to cut the lines, cut them to fit for size, then he'll vacuum the system down and crack open the refrigerant. We were talking about maybe getting a longer line set, but we decided to run it a different direction. I said, how much is a 12-foot line set now, 70 bucks? He says, no, about 110, 120. He says, copper has gone through the roof. So what are you doing now? Are you going to, are you vacuuming it? No, I'm going to pump nitrogen through it to make sure we have no leaks at any of the flares. Oh, okay. That way we don't release the refrigerant and then have to evacuate it. And... It's okay, so he's checking for leaks using nitrogen. Okay, well he's checked the system, run nitrogen through it. Huh? Now he's hooking up the vacuum. He's gonna draw all the air and everything out of the lines, get all the contaminants out before he breaks open the uh, refrigerant. I'm getting close. Okay, well he's got it vacuumed down and I believe what he's doing now, he's cracking open the valve to release the refrigerant into the lines. These uh, mini splits are pre-charged from the factory. So he'll release the gas in there. Right, he says, batteries in the... the remote's on the uh, kitchen uh, counter. Okay. Batteries are in it. 
So we're gonna turn it on and see how it works. <laughs> I see 68. I'm glad we were able to reuse that uh, window covering, that window valence. Oh yeah. I feel air. Cut this. They're so silent. Yeah. The rooftop ACs are incredibly noisy. Even with uh, it being ducted and everything. I just don't understand why they're not making these to replace the RV rooftop air conditioner. These these are 20 year machines. The RV uh, air conditioners they say they only last three to five. I think I think that's criminal. That's insane. That that's criminal. I feel the cool air. Yeah, it's getting nice and cool. Yeah, buddy. The inside is cooling down pretty good. This has a little bit of a hum to it. My other one didn't hum like this. But it's still pretty quiet. That's this grill. Might be that bolt right there touching the grill. Okay, dealt with a very nice technician. Good guy. Um, he was here right at four hours, plus or minus, around that, charged me $331.85. I think that's reasonable. Came back here in the, I came back here in the RV, the wind started picking up, of course. Um, he's going to come back, he's going to service my rooftop air conditioner as well. Probably be, to be back here tomorrow morning. I may include that in this video. I may make it another video or whatever. $331 to install it. All I did was just mount it to the floor. Uh, and I was a gopher. But uh, yeah. Got a mini split in the Bigfoot, y'all. That makes today's video. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. That's my bill. I love him and I'm missing. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you next time. Bye. Bye. So we'll see y'all later.